This is the Big Boy Buddy Blower and check out how powerful this thing is. Now, just a quick note, this car does have multiple layers of ceramic wax and uh, rain repellent on the windshield, so that's why the water's rolling off really well. If you don't have ceramic coating, it's not going to work, which I'm going to show you here in a second in this next clip. So right now I'm doing a voiceover because this part of the clip did not go as I expected. So I was hoping to show you guys right here what this tool looked like using it on a car that did not have any sort of hydrophobic protection. So as you can see right here blowing, clearly this car does have a ceramic wax on it. Uh, the water's rolling right off. So again, not a good test to show you guys uh, what it looks like on a car that's not coated. Uh, here's a second, about to move on to the windshield. And again, the water is rolling right off as you can see right now. So again, not a good test to show you guys what this looks like on a car not treated. But I can tell you with that being said, if you try to use this tool on a vehicle that does not have any sort of hydrophobic protection, it is pretty much ineffective. So now that you've seen the blower in action, let's take a look at it itself and kind of delve into the uh, details, specs, and features. So right off the bat, you have two blowing modes. One is high, one is low. Just flip this little switch right here. Let's change the power. Next, you have a, I just measured it, it's between seven and eight feet long power cord. So not the longest, but not the shortest. It comes with two filters, one pre-installed and one extra. This filters the air so that you're not blowing dust or like any kind of particles back onto your car. Nice little feature. You get two nozzle attachments, this one that's on it, and then this wider mouth nozzle as well. The end of the nozzles also have a soft rubber material on them so that if you accidentally, you know, hit your car while you're drying it with it, it's less likely to induce a scratch or leave a mark on it. So that's a nice feature. Let's see what else. Let's take a look at the box now. So just kind of looking at it, touchless car motorcycle dryer, big boy buddy blower, prevents water spots, filtered air. Uh, oh, this is an interesting point right here. It blows out air that is filtered to 25 degrees warmer than what's outside. So not only does it blow the water off your car, it also heats it up and kind of like dries it. So yeah, overall really well-made blower. It's extremely, it looks extremely nice and feels extremely high quality and well put together. Uh, I've used it several times, still works fine, had no issues. If you're curious what the wind speed is, you can see it right here. Wind speed 70 to 220 kilometers an hour. Uh, I don't know what that equates to in miles per hour. I'll probably stick up a little little message above telling you what that equates to. But yeah, here's the specs of it, wind speed. Now talking about weight and how heavy this product is, I'm going to say it's probably like a good five pounds. So you'll get a nice little, little arm workout and get swole while you're drying your car. Yeah. So the golden question, can you dry your entire car using this or does it take too long? Uh, you definitely can dry your entire car with this, but it's going to take twice, if not three times as long than using the towel method. Um, if you are truly wanting to do a touchless car method and not put any towels or anything on your car, you can definitely use this to dry your car. Just know it's going to take a lot longer. Now, with that being said, the big boy has an entire line of blower products ranging from this being the cheapest and smallest all the way up to basically like large vacuum cleaner looking machines that are much more crazy powerful and you can dry your car off probably, you know, much quicker than you could with a towel. So if that's something you're interested in, they have much more expensive machines ranging from Gosh, I believe they go from like three to six hundred dollars. So a lot more expensive than this at being 130, but just to make you aware of the other products they have. 
So let's talk about noise level. You could hear it in the beginning of the video earlier, but it's no louder than a house vacuum cleaner. And that's one of the things that it mentions on the box specifically is it has low noise technology. So compared to the other blowers out there, I'm assuming this one is probably gonna be a little bit quieter. But as always, when you're blowing, I wanna call this compressed air, but high pressure air onto small areas, it always makes that like really high pitched noise that just like pierces your ears. So I still use uh, earmuffs when I'm using this because it's not the machine that's loud, it's the air noise that's loud. But in terms of the like operating noise, yeah, I'd say it sounds like a home vacuum cleaner or something. So it's not super, super quiet, but it's also not like absurdly loud. And lastly, to end this video, not only does this make a great tool for drying your car, it is a great multi-purpose tool to use around your house. It's basically like a handheld leaf blower. I got grass all over me. See you guys.